All right, Paul, I have an actual question for mm -hmm. dear listeners who mm -hmm. also have children, and maybe you may even yeah. know about this as well. This is not related to the story that I told you privately before we started. Uh, okay, so my kid is now getting at the age where she's going online, like nothing nefarious, but she's like at school, they teach them how to browse the web and do all that stuff. So she's like, you know, we don't, we, we try not to over like hover Mm -hmm. But sure. at the end but of the day, we are parents. <laughs> we are parents at the mm -hmm. end of the day. And right now she's just, just doing like a Harry Potter crap and whatever. But the reality is, is that she's on an iPad and she's also on a Surface laptop. Yep. And so finding a solution that allows us to maintain control over that like web browsing experience across both devices without it being some weird third party service that you have to implant a chip in your brain to use. <laughs> Is of well, interest I, at this point. I assume you've looked at Microsoft Family. I have, but I, does that work well on the iPad though? I've never. See, I, I uh, the latest improvements and things happened well after my kids were old enough. It didn't right. matter. Um, but yeah, I mean, I know it works on mobile. I it's worth looking at. I'm not yep. saying this is the solution. I mean, yep, it may very well end up being that you uh, use the respective parental controls that are on each platform and it's just different and yeah. what are you going to do? I don't, you know, it's not the end of the world I'm... Yeah. to, to do well, this, but it's, I have a horrific story about this that I mean, mm. I'm not even sure I want to relay publicly too much, but, um, many years ago when my son was very little and mm -hmm. we were, he was, we have, my wife's sister has kids who are about the same age as our kids and, but they're switched. So it's like boy, girl, we're, mm -hmm. we're you know, they're girl, boy, whatever. So I want to say, my son might have been five or something, you know, but there was this incident where, I mean, whatever device it was at the time, it could have been a little netbook or a, I guess it could have been an iPad. I don't know. It was a long time ago, but, um, cousins were over why, you know, the wife and sister mm -hmm. hanging out with whatever they're doing. And, uh, they're, it gets to the point where there's this, like, they see, like breasts online, like mm -hmm. this nudity or something. And so the little girl comes running down to mom to, you know, this happened, whatever. And, um, what my son had Googled was they were, you know, they were playing and he, he Googled booby trap, ah. uh, because he wanted to, they wanted to, yeah, yeah. Do, you know, do something fun, you know, perfectly innocent. And, uh, that's what happened. And, uh, my wife and my sister, sister never don't speak to each other to this day because of this incident. And, um, Basically, the the mother took the the daughters, you know, just said this is, you know, whatever. I'm like, my son's some kind of little predator or whatever. And my son, who's the sweetest, nicest person in the world and uh, still is, you know, as an adult. Um, we were able to go back and look at his browsing history because, mm -hmm. you know, whatever. There's nothing. There's nothing there. There was nothing. We explained this to them and uh, overly protective people. And that's the type of thing that can happen, right? Yep. And it's, uh, it's horrific because these two were like the closest people in the world. And, um, I, 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 I guess what I'm trying, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm just trying to say you have to be careful with kids online. Yeah. yeah where you <laughs> and, go. um, I guess you, there, there has to be a certain element of trust. Um, but there also has to be a certain element of, uh, parenting, you mm -hmm. know, and it's just, it's, it's, I don't know. So I don't know what to tell. I, 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 you should do something. <laughs> yes. Well, yes. That is, that is the thing. It's like, we're now, my wife's yeah. like, we're at the point where it's not like, there's nothing malicious. Like we haven't, there's nothing going on, but it's like, that's a perfect example of an accidental search results in exactly. Yeah. Unintended this was in, consequences. This was in a more innocent age yeah. as well as, so, I mean, my son's 25, so this could have been, uh, well, 15 to 20 years ago. I know it was a long time ago. Um, yeah, I don't know what to tell you. I, I, I other than because of this experience, I, I, I do feel <laughs> that people need to do. You know, there are more and better tools than there were at the time. Yeah. Um, yep. I never worried about my kids doing something on purpose. Mm -hmm. They are they're they've always been good people, but the internet is the internet, and um, yeah, I guess my I guess I don't know. That was a long story to no point, but other than to say yes, you should do something. I guess would be well. People who are listening who also have kids, let me know. What are you using? Because that's yeah. that's of interest at this point. Yes. Yeah. Right. I'm out a little out of date on that for sure. Not a little, a lot. <laughs> so here's it's yeah. sort of on the same vein. I'm gonna be curious to see what's going on with Google here soon. 
uh, this kind of popped up because I was in the office this week, and we use ChatGPT a lot. Like it's almost oh. it's it's scary okay. the amount that we are able to use it functionally and correctly. I mean, without uh, giving away, I don't know if this is proprietary. Like, what types of things do you use it for? Oh, coding, creating Python coding. scripts, all oh, sorts boy. of stuff. So That's incredible. Okay, here's an example. We have uh, we. Stardock has win customized. We didn't use it explicitly for this, but it's tangibly mm -hmm. related. We have okay. winCustomized.com has hundreds of thousands of background images. Uh, right. We have created a tool that can now look at an image, categorize what's in the image, even if it wasn't given by the author. So it could look at a picture of a mountain and unicorn and a cabin and know that there's a mountain, unicorn, and a cabin there and recategorize it so that it's more effective in the search. I like that those things are probably in background images that people are using. Um, yep. But <laughs> that's, that is a yeah. script. You can go to ChatGPT. Now, it's all about the prompt engineering uh, of the input. Mm -hmm. But this is a tool that somebody who has zero developer experience can go right. create this script with Python with about five minutes of education and then execute the task. Yep. Now, the, the, the conversation at this point at work was like, man, we all find ourselves Googling things significantly less. And not, I don't mean going to Bing, but using ChatGPT significantly more than we had previously been Googling things. So, right. Now, when you say people, I, so I wonder if there aren't specific tasks. So for, in other words, as a developer, I might yeah. go and Google say something like, how do I enumerate through an array in C Sharp or something? And, you know, you get to Stack Overflow and mm -hmm. Microsoft Learn and blah, 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 whatever it is. But really what the question I'm really asking is I have a very, I, I want to create a, a thing that does steps to I'm making something up, but you're talking about a specific coding type thing where it can now, you don't have to sift through sites where this one's been marked as the best answer, but other people say, maybe this is better. And you could just be like, here's the answer, <laughs> you know? So here, like here's an is example. That, is it that you. kind of thing? Is that, is that what you mean? So you have, you've written various notepad apps, right? And various mm -hmm. languages mm -hmm. and whatever else. Right. Now you'd have to be paying for the premium version of ChatGPT, but again, this is 20 bucks. <laughs> totally worth it. Yeah. 20 bucks. You could take your entire code, drop right. it in there and say, how do I add a replace function to this? And it would yes. spit out an answer that's probably yeah. perfectly accurate and you could in, and put it yeah, right no, in Yeah, no, it's, app. I, right. I mean, what are the, is, I mean, I ran into very specific issues like that and replace was one of them. Um, yeah, like. One of the, the the more difficult things in depending on the framework is like how do I print? Yeah. You know, oh, it would tell you. I, it would... I, I yeah. I I mean I spent weeks and weeks on this, you know. Yeah. I, I would I'd be very curious to see if you try that and how it works out for you. Because mm -hmm. I suspect that it would do exactly right. what you needed to. And the thing is if it doesn't and it like here's how we were we were using it. This is what was crazy. So you can have it create a prompt or whatever, and sometimes it mm -hmm. fails. It's not always perfect. But you copy the error message, paste it in there, and then the GPT will look back at it and say, oh, there's a mistake here. Make the change, update it, and then it will run. Like, it's it's, right. it's crazy. Hmm. So. Yeah. No, I, I um, we used to, I, I don't know if everyone did this, but I used to make fun of the, using the term research in, mm -hmm. in um, with regards to Google. Yeah, because like, what do you research? Where you sat in front of a computer and typed in a couple of things, but actually, uh, Chat GPT, the way you're describing it, does make using Google now feel like research, <laughs> because you yeah. you literally are not given the answer; you're given links that might Places have that, the answer, and you yeah, go back and forth, correct. back and forth. You know, um, I, I guess, geez, you know, depending on the time. I mean, so you mentioned the the Notepad apps. I mean, you know, one of the goals there was to teach myself how to program and to do, you know, mm -hmm. whatever. And so when you're given the answer and you paste it in. Sure, okay. it is. I mean, yes. it works, <laughs> you know, yeah, but I, I, maybe I, I probably don't know why it works, um, you know, that kind of thing. So, yeah, I mean, I, uh, uh, yeah, but most people are not doing that, though. They're they want the answer. and They want to move on with their lives. Right. Mm -hmm. Like that's very yeah. interesting. Yeah. It's just, it, it. I think you hit it pretty eloquently. It depends on what you want to do. If you want to learn Python, you can absolutely use it to learn Python. And you can actually say, teach me how this function works in <laughs> Python and it'll walk that's you through the steps. But if oh, all you it. want yeah, is yeah. just the output, that's all you get to. The other, I, somebody's going to be listening to this thing. Well, I'll never use it for that. Okay, here's another way we use it. You're writing, a, you're writing an email. 
Granted, right. it could write the whole email, but you could come up with a subject line and say, rewrite this 10 different ways. And then you just pick the yes. best best one. Yeah. Yeah. The, I, maybe the way to summarize this is almost like um, uh, some people think that AI can replace search. Some people think that AI becomes, you know, search becomes AI or whatever. Mm -hmm. But maybe these are two different things, you know. I mean, Bing used to market itself as like the answer engine. It was a mm -hmm. good idea. You know, the idea is you search for something, you just want the answer. You know, you, I don't I, I don't want to be, be presented with a list of things. I just want you to tell me what the answer is, you know. And I feel like they never achieved that, obviously, except for things like math and, you know, what day of the week is some particular day or whatever. But but the, the this is this is doing that. It's it's giving you the answer. Yeah. And I again, if it, it uh, there's so many examples, but I mean, you're asked at work to create a PowerPoint presentation for some reason. You're like, I'm not my job is not PowerPoint. My job is I'm a manager or whatever. Mm -hmm. I I don't need I don't want to learn. I don't want to make a career out of learning this tool. I I I just want to give this presentation and get on with my life. I mean, tools that make that stuff easier. You know. Mm -hmm. This is a great. This is what Microsoft used to be known for. Frankly, it's the, um, the the things that used to require like a white lab coated technician, yeah, to come down from Mount Olympus and and <laughs> flip a switch to make everything okay. Mm -hmm. You're putting that power into the hands of uh, normal people. Yeah, and you can argue it is a great argument to be made. I mean, and on the one hand, you're you're removing jobs <laughs> from the equation. Yeah. There's no doubt about it. But you know, in the same, I keep using the same examples. But you know, you used to have to know how to fix an engine to own a car, you know, I mean, it's stupid. Like mm -hmm. that's, you know, categorically stupid, but, um, you know, now we're getting rid of the mechanics, yeah. <laughs> you know, like now it's like, it, it's, it's an interesting, it's an interesting time to be alive. I think is the way. And the other, it. and the reason why I'm bringing this up is because Google it was announced today or yesterday that they're combining deep mind and their AI stuff, mm -hmm. but it, it's really just fascinating how much of the beating end Google has been on all this. There were posts out yesterday about how engineers and cyber saying we should never release this because it's a terrible yep. thing. It's not yep. even in a good state. Pathological liar was yeah. the, the one phrase. Yep. Uh, yes. I mean, but I think that's that hints at how powerful this stuff is. I mean, yeah. um, yes, we, we, should be careful about this stuff. I, I don't feel like we are being careful about this stuff, but we, I mean like Microsoft basically. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. yeah. I, don't know, I don't know what to say. Well, this is uh, curiously tied to your first topic because uh, your daughter is coming online in an age in yep. which AI is there. And it, maybe this makes it even more of a need to make yeah. sure that, you know, her browsing sessions is safe or whatever. I mean, we're only about five minutes away from having our own AI persona do this podcast. <laughs> well, anything to save money. <laughs>